obscene script. Have you ever wondered how music was played before the digital era? The answer might surprise you. It all started with the invention of the phonograph. The year was 1877, and a man named Thomas Edison was about to change the world of sound forever. Edison, a prolific inventor with a knack for the extraordinary, unveiled his latest creation, the phonograph. This remarkable device was designed for the mechanical and analog reproduction of recorded sound. The concept was simple yet revolutionary. Sound vibration waveforms were recorded as physical deviations on the surface of a rotating cylinder, creating a record. To recreate the sound, the surface was rotated while a playback stylus traced the groove, vibrating to reproduce the recorded sound. In the early renditions of the phonograph, the stylus vibrated a diaphragm which produced sound waves. These waves were then coupled to the open air through a flaring horn or directly to the listener's ears through stethoscope-type earphones. This primitive yet ingenious device was the first of its kind, allowing sound to be recorded and played back for the first time in history. But the phonograph was not without its flaws, and it was soon to undergo a series of improvements. The following decade, in the 1880s, Alexander Graham Bell's Volta Laboratory stepped in. Bell's team introduced the graphophone, an enhanced version of the phonograph. This new device utilised wax-coated cardboard cylinders and a cutting stylus that moved from side to side in a zigzag groove around the record. These modifications proved significant, improving sound quality and making the device more reliable. From its humble beginnings as a mechanised cylinder to its evolution into a refined instrument, the phonograph marked the dawn of a new era in sound reproduction. It paved the way for the music industry as we know it today and set the stage for future innovations in audio technology. From a simple machine to a refined instrument, the phonograph was the start of a revolution in the way we experience sound. As the 1890s rolled in, so did a significant change in the world of sound reproduction. The dawn of a new era was heralded by Emile Berliner, a pioneer who would forever leave his mark on the field of audio technology. No longer were we confined to the cylindrical limitations of Thomas Edison's phonograph. Berliner introduced a radical concept, the transition from phonograph cylinders to flat discs, a format that would come to dominate the audio industry for the better part of a century. Berliner's discs were unlike anything seen or heard before. They possessed a spiral groove, a remarkable innovation that began at the periphery and wound its way to nearly the centre of the record. This groove was not just a physical feature, it was an intricate pathway that held the promise of sound, waiting to be unlocked by the turn of a stylus. But what was this new contraption called? Berliner coined a term that would soon become synonymous with these flat discs, the gramophone. Derived from the Greek words grammar, meaning written and phone, meaning sound, the term gramophone was aptly chosen. It was, after all, a device that wrote sound onto a disc, only to speak it back when prompted. This term, gramophone, was not just a name, it was a statement, a declaration of the new age of sound reproduction. It was a term that would be adopted and adapted in many languages across the globe, becoming a universal symbol for the evolution of audio technology. Berliner's innovation was not just about a new physical format, it was about a shift in perception. The gramophone represented a leap from the mechanical to the magical, transforming sound from something ephemeral and fleeting into something tangible, something that could be held, stored and most importantly, replayed at will. From cylinders to discs, from phonograph to gramophone, this transition was not just a technological advancement, it was a cultural revolution. It was a shift that brought music out of concert halls and into homes, making it accessible to the masses. This transition marked a significant change, paving the way for music as we know it today. Here with the advent of the 20th century, the disc phonograph record took centre stage. The phonograph, with its unique ability to reproduce recorded sound, had become an integral part of society. With the turn of the century, the disc phonograph record asserted its dominance in the commercial audio distribution arena, becoming the format of choice for most of the 20th century. 
During this era, the phonograph was more than just a device. It was a cultural icon. It was the heart of the music industry, the medium through which the world enjoyed the magic of sound. The phonograph brought music into the living rooms, making it accessible to everyone, not just to those who could afford to attend live performances. It was a revolution, a dramatic shift in how we consumed music. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. With the arrival of the 1960s, new technologies began to emerge, presenting alternatives to the phonograph. The eight-track cartridge and the cassette tape made their debut, offering portability and convenience that the phonograph couldn't match. These new formats were smaller, easier to use, and allowed listeners to take their music with them wherever they went. The phonograph's decline accelerated in 1987 with the rise of the compact disc. The CD, with its superior sound quality and durability, quickly became the preferred medium for music distribution. The phonograph, once the king of the music world, was now a relic of a bygone era relegated to the attics and basements of nostalgia seekers. Despite this decline, the phonograph was not forgotten. Its influence continued to resonate in the music industry, in the hearts of music lovers and in the collective memory of society. The phonograph had transformed the way we listen to music, making it a personal, intimate experience. It had democratized music, making it accessible to all. Despite its decline, the phonograph had left an indelible mark on the world of music. Its legacy is still very much alive today, as we'll explore in the next segment. Just when it seemed like the era of the phonograph was over, a surprising resurgence occurred. Indeed, our beloved phonograph has not been relegated to dusty museum corners or forgotten attics. It has stepped back into the limelight, and how? This renaissance of the phonograph began around the late 2000s. Now you might be wondering, why? Why would a seemingly outdated technology make a comeback in an era of digital streaming and instant music access? Well, as it turns out, many music enthusiasts developed a newfound appreciation for the distinctive, natural sound that vinyl records produce. This sound is often described as warmer and richer, a stark contrast to the sometimes overly processed sound of digital releases. The sparing use of audio processing in vinyl records contributes significantly to this unique auditory experience. Unlike a good portion of digital releases, which are highly processed for playback on portable devices in high noise environments, vinyl records retain more of the original recording's nuances. This results in a sound that feels more authentic, more alive, and to many more satisfying. But the allure of the phonograph extends beyond its sound. There's something decidedly charming and satisfying about the tactile experience of handling a vinyl record. Placing the needle on the record, watching it spin, and hearing the faint crackle before the music begins, all these elements create an immersive, tangible connection to the music that digital mediums simply cannot replicate. Moreover, the phonograph's revival is also linked to its user-serviceable parts. Attention to tone arm alignment, the wear and choice of stylus, all these aspects affect the sound produced by the turntable. For some, this hands-on approach, the ability to tweak and adjust, to directly influence the sound, adds another layer of enjoyment to the listening experience. So, the phonograph, once thought to be obsolete, has found its place again in the hearts of music enthusiasts. Whether it's the rich, natural sound, the tactile experience, or the joy of maintaining the device itself, the phonograph offers a unique and rewarding engagement with music. The phonograph, once a relic of the past, is now a cherished piece of audio history. Despite the advances in digital music, the phonograph holds a special place in the hearts of many. Today, these charming machines are far more than historical curiosities. They are a testament to the timeless allure of music, the marvel of sound reproduction, and the enduring spirit of innovation. In the age of streaming and digital downloads, one might wonder why the phonograph still resonates with so many. The answer lies not just in nostalgia, but also in the distinctive, warm and rich sound quality that vinyl records offer. This unique sound, often described as more natural or authentic, is a product of the phonograph's sparing use of audio processing. Unlike many digital releases that are heavily processed for playback on portable devices in noisy environments, vinyl records provide a more direct connection to the original recording. But the appeal of the phonograph extends beyond its sound. 
In a world of disposable technology, these devices stand out with their user serviceable parts. The tone arm alignment, the wear and choice of stylus. These are aspects that users can control and customize, adding a layer of personal engagement to the listening experience. The phonograph is not just a music player, it is a hobby, a passion, and in some cases a lifelong pursuit. The impact of the phonograph on the music industry is undeniable. It has shaped the way we consume music, influencing everything from the length and structure of songs to the concept of albums. Even as we move into an increasingly digital future, the phonograph continues to inspire musicians, producers and listeners alike. Today, the phonograph is celebrated in various ways. Record stores, vinyl clubs and turntable cafes have sprung up around the world, catering to a growing community of vinyl enthusiasts. Record Store Day, a global event that celebrates the culture of the independently owned record store, has seen participation skyrocket in recent years. And so we see that the phonograph, once the pioneer of sound reproduction, remains a testament to the evolution of music and sound. It is a charming relic of the past, a beloved piece of the present, and quite possibly an exciting part of our future.